Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with a gas and grocery update. Now, I got a lot of emails and then my printer decided to go on strike. I think I have to clean the ink heads. But the gist of all of these gas and grocery emails I'm getting is that the farther you live from civilization, the more you're going to pay to go to the grocery store and the more the grocery stores are costing. Now, if you live in farm country, look for like Amish farms or stands that are actually on the farm. Don't go to a farmer's market and expect to get decent prices because they're they're try they're competing with the grocery stores and a lot of the farmers markets there are several around here like the the Parkdale market in Ottawa you have to look at the banner over their stall to find out whether they're a vendor or a farmer because vendors will lay everything out like it's a far like they're a farmer and they're not this is just stuff they've bought in bulk for a cheaper price and they're just reselling it to you at the farmer's market so make sure you're supporting farmers if you can especially Amish farmers Amish farmers have been are, are starting to take heat from law enforcement for selling food off their farms they're going to try and outlaw people selling food or produce from their own property we can't let that happen so please support local farmers please support Amish farmers um, because their prices are really good however if you live in the city or you can't get to a farmers market and you live in the city call some friends call some family tell them these are the stores that you're thinking of going to pick the person with the biggest vehicle for instance one of your family members has like an suv or a minivan that you can fit four people in and lots of groceries in the back car pool phone these people say listen i want to go shopping when's the best time for us to go and we'll split the gas cost and then you decide with these people which stores you're going to go to and you say okay get your circulars for these specific stores mark what you're going to buy and we will do a loop and we will hit this store this store and this store but a lot of people are complaining that sales are in circulars and then when they go to buy them they're sold out so please make your route circle your flyers and then phone those stores the day before you go shopping and ask do you have plenty of this sale item because a lot of times you, you don't want to waste gas going to the store and in them not having what you want it's called a wild goose chase that burns up all your gas so circle your flyers pick a couple of friends to carpool with and then make a loop and split the cost of the gas you can do that in farm country too the prices are are not great now yes we're in the midst of a harvest season but think about this if our government manages this is in Canada to force farmers to drop their fertilizer rate by 30 percent prices are going to go up even more next year if the government has their way so do what you can to stock up this year this may be as good as it gets or it may not be bad at all start organizing your seeds start ordering your seeds for next year i'm hearing of seed shortages okay. what else i'm also hearing of over-the-counter um, medication shortages tylenol robaxacet neocitrin advil cold and flu uh you, you know what i mean over-the-counter meds are disappearing and don't forget about your personal items like razors and shaving cream soap toilet paper and you know feminine hygiene products and and all of those things that we forget batteries buy batteries okay 
Don't count on next year being better. I'm not trying to alarm anybody, but there is stuff going on in the world that's making it really difficult for normal everyday people to, f to shop, to pay, afford the gas to go shopping and to get what they need. And next year may not be any better. So please stock up to the best of your ability, stock up safely and don't turn your nose up at the discount rack. Many of an item on the discount rack can be dehydrated or canned. Okay, take care, God bless. And you know, we're all, we're all finding new ways to squeeze that quarter and make it far to nickel, right? Keep the ideas on coming on how we can shop smarter and save more. All right. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you soon. Mwah!